I'm coming with the fire, bro. I'm coming with it, sis, okay? Hey, y'all, what's up? What is going on? I am reporting from North Carolina right now. I'm at my mama's house, and my mind has been blown in so many ways since I've been here. I've had so many revelations, y'all. I've been here for over two and a half weeks now. That's why my content has slowed down a little bit, because I'm at my mama's house, okay? <laughs> so it's other people around, you know, and then with the time zone and my baby. But anyways, I just had to get up here today, y'all, because y'all, like, I just feel so good. Like, I just woke up this morning, this morning, yes, at 10.30 this morning, which is good. I woke up at 10.30 this morning feeling good, you know? And then, like, I ended up getting sleepy again because I was up to about 4.30 with my son last night. So I went back to sleep around noon and I got up again around two and I woke up feeling good again. Like y'all, if y'all been subscribed for some time watching my videos or it, or even like just went back and watched any of my videos, y'all know the storm has been storming, okay? The storm has been storming. And the fact that I finally got to this point where even though things are the way they are in my life, I can feel good. I can feel happy. I can feel joyful, peaceful. That speaks volumes, okay? Because I mentioned it in one of my videos. I'm not sure which one it was. And I was just saying how I'm ready to get to a place where even though things are tough, that I can still be happy. Not that toxic positivity, but like just truly being peaceful in the storm. I said that months ago and I had still not gotten to that point. But I feel like so many things that have just kept occurring in my life, even the bad things have just slowly got me to this point it's almost like if you ever read the book atomic habit i'm gonna just take an analogy from that book he said change is like an ice cube you're solid like an ice cube you look at the ice cube even when you take it out of the freezer it's still frozen it's solid but over time you start to see the ice melt and become a liquid it's just like boom you can finally see the change happening in the ice and that's how i feel i feel like i've been an ice cube and I have finally gotten to that point where I hit my breaking point and I'm melting. You know, I didn't explain it as well as he did in the book, but I just feel like I finally have gotten to that point where I can truly be happy, you know what I'm saying? And things have not changed for the better that much, not in my financial situation not in my love life not with my career not with my family not really much of anything <laughs> has really changed but my thing was that I had just been praying for God to change me you feel me because I want to be in alignment with who I really am so that when everything God has for me comes, I'm already ready. Because one thing I have really learned, like, you can't just be like, oh, when I get this, this, that money, I'll be happy. When I get this house, I'll be happy. When I pay off my car, I'll be happy. Like, yeah, those things will make you feel happy. But have you ever got something that you wanted so bad or that you've been waiting for so long and then finally when you get it, you feel happy and then it just quickly dissipates? or it doesn't even feel like you thought it would like that's 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 because that's not true happiness that's not pure joy and we all should want that that peace you know that fruit of the spirit now because if you can feel that now where you at baby when the blessing finally comes when everything that you've been praying for finally comes you are gonna feel like so on high if you already there and then you get everything that you wanted that you've been praying for that you've been speaking into existence all this time and it finally comes just imagine how that's gonna feel like it just makes me so excited just thinking about it because i'm so happy that i'm finally at this point and it really has taken hell for me to get here like i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna front i just i just know man i just know great things are coming and i really am going to be more consistent i know there's been a lot going on in my life and i have had to take the time that i needed for myself and for my family but i'm also very serious about youtube and i'm going to be very bold in that that this is where i see myself standing this is where i see myself growing and it's crazy i'm gonna just throw this out here real quick 
I've done this thing where I have a lot of thoughts in my mind, but they always just come out of my mouth, like speaking when people are not around. And I've been doing that ever since I was in elementary school, as long as I can remember. And it just continued as I got older. And I, I'm telling you, I couldn't stand it. Like by the time I got to high school, I could not stand that I was doing it, especially because my stepdad would catch me so many times. Like my stepdad has caught me like talking out loud, like with nobody around. And I used to get so mad. Like he used to kind of just look at me like, or like chuckle or even ask me you talking to yourself and i would just be like oh no i was just thinking about something oh i used to get so mad like and i used to i really really i try not to use the word hate but i really about like really hated that about myself and it's crazy now because now that i'm older it's so funny to see how that has translated so well with youtube i never thought of me doing that working well with speaking to a camera it's just so funny how how things just seem to find you or how god just seems to lead you right to where you want to be i really enjoy youtube and i'm just so excited for all of the things that i have just coming and i seen this little um spiritual message the other day and it was titled and I'm telling you, like, y'all, that's how I feel. That's how I feel in my heart. Like, I really feel like the time has come where I have finally cracked the code. It feels so good. Like, I just feel so good, man. And I'm not even where I want to be right now. But the thing is, I know I'm on my way. I know, I know I'm on my way and I know what's for me is for me crazy. I just really wanted to get up here and like, you feel me? Like, ah, like I miss y'all, I'm still here and I'm coming with the fire. I'm coming with the fire, bro. I'm coming with it, sis, okay? But that's it for now, y'all. Until next time, peace and love.